Alright guys, we're here today at Charlotte for the YouTube 600 and this should be a great race here today. Can't wait to get it started and we will take you to your starting group. drivers up here that's trying to get their first win of the season like Eric Burton and uh, Jay Juke, Aaron Mason, Seth Cole, Kyle Sednoski, Dylan Pote hasn't even got his first win yet. He's one of the favorites to get it though. But there's there, there, but there's Jay Juke. Jay Juke is going to have the lead. There's Ryan Costa. Ryan Costa going to be in the second position. And there's Aaron Mason in that high side. Like I said, it's not going to work here today. And Dylan is starting on the outside line. So any of you favorites that and these guys that favored him today, he is really going to have to get to the inside line. And there's the 77. And there's the 44. 44 is going to try to go to the inside. And going to try to get to him. Oh, man. Kasanowski came up a little bit. But he's running pretty good right now. He's in the fourth position. Looking pretty fast, bro. Michael Walter Racing looking pretty fast as well. Two of them are up in the top five. This is a 77 going to go way high. And here comes the 44. Ryan is going to be right down the back of him. Oh, man. 13. Up into the wall back there. And the 12 is going to be in the middle of a three-wide battle almost. But there's a 77. And there's a 44 ride high. Oh, man. These guys riding real high. Here they come out the corner. Oh, 77 is going to get a little bit of contact. And there's a 55. 55 is going to take the inside line. And I'm um, going to get by. and going to get by to the second spot. And here he comes. Here comes Aaron Mason. But watch Evan Gattuso right there. He's looking pretty sporty as well on the inside line. Has a great, has a great dodge here today. And he's the only dodge up in the top five right now. Well, fail. <laughs> uh, his teammates up here as well fail. But anyway, the 55 is going to try to get to the inside of him. And there's the 44. Ryan Acosta is going to try to give him some room. As they come off the corner, they are single file right now, which is pretty good, if I say so myself. Oh, somebody just hit the wall. I don't know who that was. I heard somebody just scrape the wall. But anyway, the 77 is out front right now. But here comes the 55. Aaron Mason. There goes his teammate. There's Xavier Livingston way high in the corner. And then they come off the corner. Some of you guys are way far back. I don't know what happened to the field. They split it up like this. There's a 77 and there's a 55. They come off the corner. There's a 2. There's a 44. Oh, 77 is going to go real close to the wall. But here comes Kyle Sinoski going to try to get into Ryan Acosta. But that 77 is really fast right now. It's not letting anybody try to get to him. Here comes a 2 of Evan Gattuso. But look at Ryan Acosta still trying to hold that outside line. But it's not working for him right now as he gets up in the wall along with the 21. 
Well, actually, the 21 didn't hit it, but Kalsinowski up into the fourth position right now. He is making some moves. Michael Walter Racing as a whole is. There's Aaron Mason, but there's a 77. These guys are slowing down. I don't know if they're pitting or not. Aaron Mason goes real close to the wall. There's a five is pitting. Oh, some of you guys are pitting. Oh, 51. Oh, shit. Oh, man, that was close. Some of you guys are on pit road already. As we go out to the front, the leader is Jay Juke still. There's a few of these guys are still on pit road. It's pretty much been a clean race so far. Everybody's just minding their own business. This is Aaron Mason. Aaron Mason is trying to catch him, but can't catch him right now. There's Seth Cohen. There's Evan Gattuso. They're coming down pit road. And there's uh, Red Bell stays out. Dylan Pote, and there's his teammate in the Playboy machine. Uh, his teammate in the 98. Tim Feigl is going to go under him and try to take that spot. Tim Feigl looking pretty good here today. Tim Feigl up into the third spot. And Dylan Pote up in. He said he was second, they said, coming across the line. But he just lost that. Looks like, looks like these guys are racing pretty clean right now, which is very surprising. Usually a wreck at this time. Press implored. A lot of you guys on pit road. There's Connor Breen. Connor Breen's going to go to the outside and pass the 12. Of... And then, oh, oh, Cody Lamas. Cody Lamas almost caused something to happen right there. Oh, 31 slowed down. Oh, three. Three's coming into it. Oh, these guys are on the apron. Not what you want to do. Oh, 13. They, they come back up, though. Oh, there's, there's Dylan Young. Dylan Young's going to go on the outside. Oh, man. Oh, there's a 42 coming back on the racetrack. There's Sean Henley. There's Xavier Livingston getting ready to come back up on the racetrack. Oh, man, you got to watch these guys coming back up on the racetrack. And there, there goes somebody up in the wall, Dougie Shear. Dougie Shear's up into the wall. And Red Bell, they said she was first. But she's on pit road. There's Luke Walker. There's uh, the four on on the apron almost he was he was a lot slow he's real slow oh man there's a oh I think caution's out I just seen some wait I think the caution's out oh no never mind I thought it was never mind uh, I don't know who the leader is right now I thought it was Kasanowski Danny Wells got up into the wall a little bit and there's Seth Cole. Seth Cole is running in the 10th spot right now. He is looking pretty good. Oh, man. The three wide right there. Dougie Shears. And oh, caution's out. Caution is out. Oh, somebody just spun. Oh, shit. Oh, man. We got oh we got the big one. Uh, oh, oh, Ryan Cooper and Sean Henley. Uh, is anybody else in it? Oh, Red Bell spun. Oh, but Sean Henley and uh, I think it was Barney Ward, real big damage. Well, mostly we had pit stops go on. Uh, Ryan Cooper and Sean Henley, I don't know what happened to them. A big damage to them. And and I think Red Bell and Barney Ward were involved as well. Wow, big damage. I don't know what happened there, but a lot of cars got, a few cars got involved in it. As the leader is Kyle Sinoski. There he is right there. Right behind him is Ryan Acosta. Man, big hit. Big hit for a couple of guys right there. Ryan Cooper and uh, Sean Henley. Big hit they just took. I don't know what happened to them. And then Barney Ward came rushing in there and he hit some. And he hit some. But took to lap 11 for the first, almost for the first car to come out. And there's Joe Cole. He's running in the 41st position. Almost got lap. There's everybody else on pit road right here. Cody Lamas was on pit road I seen. Uh, let's take you to uh, pit lane and see who comes out first. Um, I think I think Aaron Mason is staying out. Aaron Mason, yeah, Aaron Mason just stayed out. Somebody else is staying out too. I think that's uh, that's uh, Tyson Broad. No, that's Trent Dunham. Trent Dunham just stayed out as well. There's Preston Floor coming off pit road. Uh, there's uh, Red Bell. Red Bell got a little bit of that crash. And there's Seth Cole, Lyndon Wright's coming off pit road. Let's see what happened in that crash. Well, guys, um, there's been tension between these guys, and uh, Sean's not going to be too happy about this running 18. Watch this. Watch Kevin. Aaron Williams. Oh, man. Aaron, I don't know what he was doing right there, and Aaron Williams runs right in the back of Sean. 
And then Sean just spins. And you don't think nobody's going to hit him, right? He's all good, right? But watch Ryan Cooper. Oh, my God. Ryan Cooper just smacks into him. And then Barney was going to come in. Oh, he's going to smack into it. And I thought. And uh, Red Bell. Oh, Red Bell and um, what's the name? Red Bell and James McLeod got together. And they spun. And there's Barney was spinning down the racetrack. Let's see what happened up here. You see Red Bell's teammate on the outside right there. Oh, 42 slow. These guys are slowing. I don't know why they were slowing like that. And then Red got up into the wall, goes down, hits James on cloud, and they spin. Luckily, nothing big came out of that. But uh, there's Barney Ward sl slamming the wall. Barney Ward just slammed the wall big time right there, man. He almost had it missed, but Ryan Cooper just was right there, and he couldn't do nothing about it. But I'm telling you one thing. Sean is not going to have any nice things to say about Aaron Williams. Because Aaron Williams should not have been going that fast, knowing that these guys were pitting. Look at him. He's just he's just really fast on the outside on the outside line, and he runs right in the back of Sean. Sean is just not going to be happy with the 29 boys after this after this race. You might see a might see a pit uh, road fight after this. You have to see. Oh oh my God! Ryan Cooper just nailed him. And then Barney was going to, oh, my goodness. Ryan Cooper took a shot, man. And then you see Richard Johnson. And there's the 8. And there's the 12 spun around over there. Oh, my God. Let's ride on board with Ryan Cooper real fast. Holy shit. <laughs> it looked like he was coming down pit road. I don't think he was, though. Watch this. Oh. Oh my God! Uh, Kyle Sanuski is gonna have a lot of cars to worry about. It's four cars are out of the race. Camshaft problems for for Jack Rasmussen. There's the eight of Barney Ward, eighty-eight of Sean Henley, and fifty-six Ryan Cooper. But green flag is about to come out, and Kyle Sanuski is gonna have to maneuver his way around all these lap cars. It's, here we go. Green flag is out. He's gonna go to the outside. Danny Wells, man, look at him. Look at him make it three wide. He made it three wide too soon though, because here comes Danny Wells. Danny Wells is going to go to the inside. Oh my God. Oh man, Kyle Sanuski up the racetrack a little bit. There's, uh, there goes a five. And look at all these lap cars, tail end of the lead lap cars. And there's Ryan Acosta. Ryan Acosta got a little bit of damage. And there, and there goes Danny Wells. Danny Wells is going to take the lead away from uh, Kyle Sanuski. And there's Ryan, Aco Ryan Acosta right there behind him. Oh, oh, a little bit of contact. Oh, three car through the grass. Oh, Sean, Trent Dunham. Oh, that's not going to work, man. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Dougie. Dougie, what the fuck? What the fuck, Dougie? Oh, my God. Oh, Trent Dunham's in it. Oh, oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, man. This is a mess. Oh. Oh, it's not done. Somebody's going to hit him. Oh. Oh man, Dougie, Dougie Shears. I don't know what he was doing right there. Oh my God, 42 is done. Red Bell is done. Uh, Trent Dunham is no Red Red Bell. Probably not done. Trent Dunham got a lot of damage, and the leader coming to the line was the 77. But Danny Wells has a lot of damage. So does the 42. So does the 55. Oh man, caution out again. Jacob Lawler got a lot of damage. I don't know what Dougie Shears is doing. Oh my God. Let's see what happened this time. Well guy, Dougie Shears, I don't know what, he was, he was one of the cars that were like, he was in the grass. He's one of the cars that was off the pace and he run, he runs right into the leader who was Danny Wells. Watch him, watch him go off into the, I don't know what he was doing. What the hell was he doing? And he wrecked Red Bell. And then he wrecks Trent. And then Kyle Sanuski somehow, yeah, oh, so Kyle Sanuski almost missed it. And he got clipped right there. And he's going to go up into the wall and get some damage. And there's Luke Walker also involved. Connor Breton. And luckily, Connor Breton didn't get hit. Uh, Peter Saviano got into it as well. Oh, and then Kyle Sanuski hit the back of Kyle, uh, Kyle Sanuski hit the back of him. Um, watch Peter Saviano. It is, there was three of them up in the wall right there, and then the 42 is going to come down with Aaron Mason and get involved, hit the back of the two. 
And then, oh man, Tim Figo did a great job, but Deion Scott turns Peter Saviano into the wall. And then Kyle Sanoski comes down and gets another piece of it. But he, he got the least bit of damage out of it. And he was up and he was one the whole, uh, about a couple of the guys up in the top 10 got involved. Let's, let's take another look. Watch Danny. Danny was is just, he just had no luck whatsoever. Watch him again. Watch this. Watch Dougie come up. We're going to take one more and look at this as well from Spectator View. Watch this. Watch Dougie. Dougie. Dougie has it clear going into the corner, but I, I don't know why why he went down again is what I'm questioning. And then the 12 goes up in the wall, then Trent Dunham's in it, then the 15, and then Danny spinning the 1, Trent Dunham. And then you see 15, the 43, then there's the 42 getting involved along with the 55. Aaron Williams got a piece of it again. Big damage for Jeremy McMurray along with the 43 against the wall. We'll take one more look at this from spectator view. I mean, I mean, how how stupid can Dougie Shears be, man? I mean, like, I mean, like, really. He he uh, had a lot of opportunity to go down to the bottom of the racetrack and just you know just go down and just stick down there and get out of the leader's way. Like James McLeod did a great thing and go up and give his teammates some room. Dougie Shears seen the leaders. And he just does this. I don't know what was going on right there. Red Bell took a shot into the wall. Trent Dunham. Along, there goes the 18. There's Kosanuski. He's going to get hit right there and get spun. There's a 43. Kosanuski did a great job saving it, though. There's a 55. There's a 43 back turned up there. 42. Big damage for Jeremy McMurray. And we'll take you to green. Okay, guys. Look at all the lap cars we got. We got a whole bunch. This looks like the start of the race. <laughs> it really does. As we have 32 cars still in this race after what happened. I'm about to take the green flag with Justin Perry as the leader. But you got Luke Wall, you got uh, Peachy Walker, Charles Jackson up there in the fourth position. Danny uh, Danny Wells is still up there with a wrecked car. I mean, he, he almost had a chance to win with a wrecked car last time, last week in the All-Star race. But Justin Perry is going to try to hold on to the lead. But Peachy Walker trying to get his second win of the season. Uh, Dylan Poti, I believe, is a lap down as well. But there they go up in the corner, and the 14 going to have to get some room. Oh, to these lap cars. I think he should let all the lap cars go by. And Dylan Poti's on the inside line. He's a lap car as well. He needs to try to get up here to get his lap back. There's the 14 in the corner. And there they go off the corner right here. Oh, man, 14. Uh, they keep it sticking, though. Um, oh, 14 goes up in the wall. Dylan Poti's going to have to go down. Oh, 31. Oh, don't do the same thing, Alexander Williams. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, man. She almost did it. Oh, 14 is going to go in the wall. I don't know who the leader is. Peachy Walker is the leader. There's Ryan Acosta. And Peachy Walker is the leader right now. But there's uh, there's Jay Juke up there. But Peachy Walker, I think, is going to have to pit again. And then they come out the corner. And there's Peachy Walker, the leader at, at, at this moment. Justin Perry. Had to fall back. Pichu's out in front right now. And there, and there they go into the corner. But here comes Ryan Acosta, the, the Richard Petty Motorsports guys, right there. Trying to come up here and get to spots. And there's Luke Walker. And there's Dylan Young. Dylan Young has made his presence back up here. And as they're single file right now, these guys are racing pretty good, I would say. Just running single file. And there's Pichu Walker right there. It was where he needs to be. Oh, oh, 22 just smacked the wall. He's going to have to worry about him. There's Jay Juke, and there's James McLeod. James McLeod ain't even in the top five. There goes the 99 on the inside. Will these guys have to pit is, an, is the question. But Peachy Walker is getting by these lot traffic right now. Dylan Poti running up in the 24 position. Not having a great run so far tonight. Oh, somebody else in the wall. I don't know who that was. But Peachy Walker stay, staying out front right now. But there's the 44 trying to catch him. But I don't think he'll do it. Peachy Walker trying to win another race. But we'll take one more look through the pack. There's Dougie Shears. Dougie Shears is not going to be too much friends with a lot of people. And there's Peachy Walker catching catching this pack of cars right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, man. These guys are running three wide. But Peachy Walker is going to have to watch him. 
They go up into the corner. Man, these guys are racing hard. Oh, they're pitting. I think some of you guys are slowing down the pit. Yes, they are. Oh, man. Some of you guys are faster. Uh, Peachy Walker's pitting as well. Who else? Anybody else pitting? Oh, 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 shit. Somebody got hit back there. I think Lyndon Wright. Lyndon Wright just got banged in the back right there. Oh, and there's, uh, there's, uh, who's in the, who's in the lead now? I think Danny Well Danny Wells is in the lead. Danny is in the lead after getting wrecked in that last wreck. He he just got wrecked in. Well that took out Kyle Noski. I didn't think he got too much damage. I didn't think having a Tuzo got too much either. But he's out. Oh man. There they go right there. Danny Wells is in the lead, but Danny's gonna have to come down and I think 14, I think the 14 14 car of uh, Justin Perry is, I don't know where he's at on the racetrack. He's a lap down in 20th, so I don't think he will take the lead. But I think whatever happens now happens because it's lap 26. Whatever happens now happens. But I, I think Danny had the pit, and there's everybody else coming off of pit road. Everybody else is a lap down. Uh, Justin, Justin Perry's still out in front. Well, he's not out in front, but there's Peachy Walker. And there's Dylan Pote. Dylan Pote is 25th now. He lost his spot. Uh -uh. He lost his spot on pit road, I believe. Because he was 24th coming down there. And there's Danny. Danny just came down pit road, but there's the 14. And there's the 99. That's who you guys going to have to worry about. And there's the 9 and the 44. And there's the 81 at Dylan Young going to try to make... A run at it. There's Dion Scott. And there these guys go right here, but they're just oh Justin Perry. Oh, he just smacked the wall right there. Justin Perry is in big trouble. He just lost the lead, and Pichu Walker will take it. There's Ryan Acosta and Charles Jackson. Charles Jackson in the second position, getting held up by Pichu's teammate. I don't know if that's helping out Pichu right now that his teammate is holding up the field. There they go right now, just single file. This race had a this race had a few big crashes early in the race. But Pichu Walker, will he have to pit it again is the question. But there's Charles Jackson, there's Dylan Young. And there's there's Justin Perry. Justin Perry is pitting. And there's a 22. There's a five of Danny Wells. Danny Wells is on fresher tires. Can Danny Wells get up there and win? He's gonna have to get by all these guys, but Pichu Walker is right up in front. But Danny Wells had the pressure of the tires. I don't know where he is. There he is right there. But he's held up with a few other guys. But Pichu is getting caught by these guys. Oh, Dylan Pote's going to have to pit. Here comes Charles Jackson. Charles Jackson right there, right behind him. There's Ryan Acosta. Ryan Acosta going to have to try to catch Pichu. They got two more laps to go. Pichu Walker out in front. Oh, and they're three wide. Three wide up here. Peachy Walker's coming up on it. But they're three wide and Richard Johnson. Oh, they're gonna make cut. Oh, Richard. Oh, shit. Richard Johnson. They wreck right in front of the leaders. Peachy Walker's gonna come in. Is he gonna come in and hit him? Oh, shit. They wreck right in front of the leaders. Who's gonna get back to the line? Peachy Walker's gonna win it. He's gonna win it. They wreck right in front of him. And Peachy Walker still holds on to win the race. Caution is out. Peachy Walker was still holding. They wrecked. They spun right in front of him. He almost lost that. Holy crap! Tim Feigl just rammed right up in the Richard Johnson, who was up in the 13th position. Tim Fe Tim Feigl. I don't know what he was doing, man. Tim Feigl was running 30th. He just rammed rammed the 28. But I think is Peachy gonna have to. Pichu's not gonna have to. Is he gonna have to pit? Oh, Pichu. Is he coming down? Pichu's gonna have to pit. Eric Burton. No, never mind. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win this race? I think. I think the winner's gonna be. The winner is gonna be Ryan Acosta. Ryan Acosta wins. Ryan Acosta will win. Oh my God, Pichu had to come down pit row and Ryan Acosta will get the win in the 77. 
the 77 will finish second. Seth Cole third. Joe, who else? Um, fourth was Danny. Danny got back up to the fourth position. And fifth is Doug, and Deion Scott will finish fifth. Wow. And and uh, and six is James Claus. I haven't talked about him all day. Aaron Williams with a wreck car finishes seventh. Peter Saviano with a wreck car eighth. The ninety uh, the ninety nine of Peachy Walker will finish ninth, and Charles Jackson will finish tenth. Holy crap! Peachy's not is not gonna be happy about this. He just lost the race, and Ryan Acosta will be the next different winner this season. How about that? Wow, what a day! Two of all three and all three of the Richard Petty cars, Richard Petty Motorsports is up in the top ten. All three of them. And there's a uh, Jacob Lawler on pit road. He finished 24th. But oh my God, let's take you to what happened with those guys. Okay, I was looking at the situation, and that was right in front of this guy. If Pete, this is right in front of the top. This was right in front of the top three. That would have been amazing if all three of those guys would have been involved in that. That wouldn't have been very good. But watch this. Watch Tim Feigl. Watch him. Watch him right here. Watch Tim Feigl. He just he just turns left. He turns right, I mean. And then he wrecks Ryan Juke and Richard Johnson. I don't know what that was about. That could have been avoided. I don't know what he did. He, and they just do a 360. I thought somebody was going to hit the back of his car. But these guys all keep it going. And Pichu luckily gets by. Everybody gets by it. But that's what brings the final caution out. And Ryan Acosta. Ryan Acosta was playing it right. All this whole time. I think that I think that's like the fourth caution of the day. It might be the fourth or the fifth. You have to take take another look here. It looks like Tim Feigl. What? Watch Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson rides up the racetrack. Him and Ryan Juke, they're racing each other. They don't get up into the wall. They're they're like racing each other. Watch Richard John Richard Johnson in the middle right here. This three wide. I don't know what Tim Feigl was doing. He wasn't even racing for a position. These two were racing for a spot. <laughs> and Tim Fogel just messed up their race. He just he just messed up their race for the spot. He just wrecked them. I don't know what the I don't know what he was doing. He he just comes right. Watch him. Watch him again. He just turns right and just wrecks him. Wrecks both uh, Ryan Juke and Richard Johnson. But luckily Ryan Juke had a decent finish. Richard Johnson spins. He does a great save right there. But Tim Feigl, I don't know what he was doing. Let's ride on board with him. <laughs> that is just that is just insane, man. I, I ain't never seen this. Ride on board with him. I mean, you can't really see it right there, but let's ride with the cockpit. If he really intentionally just turn to the left like that I really don't know what he was doing let's see I mean turn to the right yeah he just turned to the right I don't know I don't know what he was thinking he wasn't clear or nothing that, and that just caught that just brought out an unneeded caution I I, I don't know what Tim Feigl was doing right there big big mistake well, guys, guess how many laps Ryan Acosta led? One. Well, actually, we only had three cautions. Never mind. We had that one for the on lap uh, ten with Sean and uh, Ryan Cooper, big hit. Then we had that one other big crash, and then we had that wreck at the end. So uh, this is uh, how it ends. Ryan Acosta wins it. Jay Juke. Started from first, and she finishes uh, second. Dan, uh, Chef Cole and Danny Wells, they play. Uh, Chef Cole played it right all race long. He had had a great, great, great day. Started sixth, had a great day. 
Deion Scott started 36, finished fifth. James Qualls didn't talk about him too much, but he got up there at the end. Aaron Williams got a piece of that rack, came back to finish seventh. Peter Saviano, Pichu Walker, uh, Charles Jackson, Richard Johnson actually got up to 11th. Almost the top 10 for Richard Johnson. Pretty good day on him. After spinning out, he saved his car, though, from getting destroyed. Ryan Juke, 12th. James McLeod comes back from a lap down to finish 13th. He was a lap down all race long. I don't know how he got a lap down either. Luke Walker, Hayden Klein, 15th. Finally, a decent finish. Lyndon Wright, 16th. Decent finish for him. Dougie Shears, Tyson Broad, Dylan Young, 19th. Last last uh, season's winner. Uh, Justin Perry, Connor Breeden, Alexander Williams, 22nd. Uh, William Duncan, Jacob Lawler, Eric Burton, <coughs> uh, Preston Plore, Tim Feigl, uh Joe Cole, uh, Cody Lamas, Dylan Pote, 30th. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what happened to him at the end of the race. He just fell off. He was two laps down. I think pitch, pit stops got him big time in this race. Same thing for Trent. Uh, well, actually, he wrecked. Uh, Justin Acosta, I think, got a piece of a wreck as well. Aaron Mason wreck, got involved in that wreck. Uh, Red Bell, Kyle Sanuski, Evan Gattuso, Xavier Livingston, uh, Jeremy McMurray, Jack Rasmussen, Barney Ward, Sean Henley, and Ryan Cooper all got involved in accidents. So, those are your finishing results. Congratulations to Ryan Acosta getting the surprise win. One of the first guys that needed to win. But uh, this might put him solidly up in the points. Let's see how the point standings looking. James Qualls has like a almost a 100-point lead over everybody. Pichu Walker finished decent. But James Qualls is just crushing the competition right now. And he's looking pretty good. Uh, Aaron Williams is up to fifth. Well, after his uh, bad race, well, uh, well, he's pretty he's pretty much been in that same spot for a while. Jacob Lawler, uh, Kyle, uh, Preston Plore, Kyle Sanoski is eighth in points now. Uh, James Jack Rasmussen fell down in points. James McLeod back up into the top ten in points. Jay Juke, Peter Saviano, Seth Cole is putting himself up in the thirteenth in the points. Um. Cody Lamas is in the 20th spot. Red Bell, Luke Walker, Danny Wells, Ryan Acosta, William Duncan, Justin Acosta, Evan Gattuso, Aaron, Aaron Mason, Dylan Young, Ryan Juke, Alexander uh, Williams, Dylan Pote is quickly falling out. Uh, Charles Jackson, Barney Ward, Justin Perry, Connor Breeden, Liam Irvig, Xavier Livingston. Oh, oh, don't even worry about that. My bad. I read the wrong name. <laughs> Xavier Livingston. And, uh, yeah, and a uh, bunch of new drivers. So, yeah. All right. So, we'll see you next week at Dover.